Guys, it's enough beating around the bush. It's time to address things is what they are. I personally feel like Rogue Demon does not truly care about us anymore. And I'm going to first off elaborate my reasons. And then I'm going to say things that they can do to prove otherwise. So first off, reasonings. Um, man, the, the complete lack of updates. I, I mean, think about it. Let's say Ahmed's family, like, you know, the owner of Rogue Demon, his family, something's going on, right? Something extreme. Why not? Why can't you just let us know? Oh, we, I'm dealing with family stuff or or this, that and the other, you know, just leaving us in the dark when there are hundreds, if not thousands of people crying in the discord, crying on my comments. I'm crying to just let us know what's going on. It just is kind of depressing. So that that's the main reason the, the complete lack of updates. And then the second thing would be updates that we don't want. You know, like the clan titles was cool, but at the end of the day, it was money. If we think about it from a larger scheme, what it, what are the last, what are the last three major updates in the Rogue Demon comp? So the last, let's go ahead and go to updates, and don't worry, I'll actually let you guys know what exactly we are talking about, and in terms of like the updates. So the the other one, the big last latest update was they added back the former uh, sound alt, which I don't really know why considering how strong sound breathing is they added a fruit a free moveset trial system which is promoting their whole pay to pay to play essentially experience the uh out on before that is they made they added a second wind breathing move then they added the ability to gift game passes more money the one before that is you know this one's not bad so this is purely like ribbon art help command just clear commands just making things easier and better so that's cool added five new icons to the shop okay more money never mind big addition <laughs> rolling an epic title clan announcing title clans promoting people to spend more money before that move sets are now paid before that it just gets it's just i feel like bro this i feel like every game owner developers go through this phase where they have a game it goes really really well really really big they're just like super sufficient but then when it starts going down that's when the the money grabbing tends to come i mean i spent thirty thousand fucking robux okay thirty thousand robux on getting rogue coins and i didn't even get the Rengoku and giyu are the only clan titles available i think it's literally quite literally a scam i think it's i have never not once seen a single individual get kibutsuji get Kamado, get Sukakuni, none of them, none of them, I, I literally think it's a scam, bro, and, and that's unfortunate, and it might tee a bit on the law, actually, since I believe gambling isn't allowed on Roblox, which there's a lot of clan rolling, and like rolling stuff, which is almost gambling, but the, the thing that makes it not gambling is by displaying the percent chance of victory, the percent chance that you have of getting it, I think that's the only thing that makes it legal, so I don't even know if that's even allowed okay so based off those main reasons and then the biggest one is yeah we're getting updates that not only are paid away but the next thing is we're getting updates that we generally don't want we generally don't want so it, it's it's kind of leaving me in a bad position and i i bro i if i'm not one of the most loyal content creators for this game if not the most loyal i don't know who is seriously i don't know who is i put more hours into making content and live streaming and and doing stuff for this game than I made or any of the development team has spent on actually developing this game altogether and I I bet on it as well. So it's kind of just like I don't know how to feel, but we're going to address things that they they can add and they can do to change. And that's first off listening to community opinions, bro. I've made several videos saying genius ideas that everybody r agrees with. That we will never see in Rogue Demon, you know? And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they'll actually do it. Maybe we'll see the next update have map rotations. Maybe we'll see the next update nerf Beast Breathing Evasive because the Ragdoll is so low time you can literally combo start with it. Maybe we'll see them nerf Sound Breathing Damage. Maybe we'll see them do the, the actual balance changes that needs to be done. Maybe we'll see movesets become free again and they add more, you know, cosmetics like auras. Bro, weapon auras would blow up, especially if they add trading. It could literally save Rogue Demon in itself. 
People play this game to be with their friends, to communicate, to uh, negotiate, or not negotiate, to socialize, bro. Imagine there was trading, a little trading hub too, where you can't take, bro, just so much stuff that they could do to make money instead of making the game pay to play. I don't know. Maybe, maybe my yapatroning, maybe my, I'm delusional. Maybe I'm just completely wrong, but I, I have yet to see any of, of these answers or for my problems answered, if that makes sense. None of it's been answered. I'm like, bro, it, it sucks because I don't want to quit Rogue Demon, but damn. Like, it's like with all these these other projects going, I, I it's almost like I want to, you know, put my, put my, uh, test my luck with someone else, bro. And it's like, obviously, IMED doesn't care what where I go, but... You know, it's just unfortunate because I know a lot of you guys, you know, play Rogue Demon because of me. And a lot of you guys enjoy my content for my Rogue Demon, you know, gameplay and stuff. And I don't want to let you guys down. So I've just been sitting in this conflicted position where I'm like, what do I do? You know what I mean? Do I, do I just move on? Do I keep trying to, because bro, don't get me wrong. Like when people say Rogue Demon's cooked, sh please shut the fuck up. Rogue Demon it has around the same player count as every other Demon Slayer game on the platform, my friend. The problem with Rogue Demon is its complete lack of updates, the stupid updates that are added, and the lack of balance changes that, that take it from being just the same as every other top Demon Slayer game on Roblox and making it number one. Because it could very easily, easily, easily be number one in Rogue Demon. So it's just like, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I really don't want this game to die. I really like this game. I really believe that this game has a ton of potential to continue to stay on top, especially during the movies and all that good stuff. It's just, I don't know what to do, man. I, I don't know what position I should put myself in. I don't know what I should do. I mean, it's just kind of like, <laughs> it's kind of like, uh, you know, I'm stuck. I'm stuck making a decision and, and I, I, I guess I'm asking you guys for some advice. You know what I mean? So I'd like to know what you guys think I should do. And uh, before I end this video, I do have to do a little bit of a shameless promo. As you guys know, I'm making the best multiplayer survival horror game on the Roblox platform. Um, I'd really like you guys to check it out and play it. It's going to be coming out pretty soon. Um, and then also, I'm working with a Demon Slayer game that is literally legendary, fast paced, just like the anime. So it'll all be in the description and the pinned comments below. And uh, that's it, man. I'll uh, keep the video playing since I recorded like 11 minutes of raw Rogue Demon uh, footage. And I know you guys like to see me fight and whatnot. So you guys can enjoy that. I love you guys. Peace.